only that can see. No fuels flying out of this. We'll see. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty dry. All right, compression test. Cylinder one. We have compression, so the engine's not wore out. At least not this cylinder. So check the other one, see what we got going on. Cylinder two, compression test. Cylinder three is compression test reading. Cylinder four is compression reading. They all seem to be doing well. Two more to go. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. Uh, well, this will be cylinder five. Testing cylinder five compression. <laughs> Almost 180. Pretty good. One more to go. Cylinder six reading. Almost 180 again, so they all have pretty consistent compression. So, the engine shouldn't be roached. The lack of compression should not have anything to do with why it doesn't start. I suspect the spark plugs were bad. This is what I pulled out of it. These weird looking Denso with a screwy top. I don't know how well you can see that, but they're fouled out bad. I don't know if that is carbon or oil. The oil is black as the ace. I did replace the fuel pressure regulator last year. You remember that video. That guy, because I thought it was dumping fuel in the, in the oil. Oil smelled like fuel. So it's possible that found the plugs out that badly, and they're just shot, plus they're wrong anyway. Or we have a problem with oil intruding into the combustion chamber while it's running. Don't know, it's one of those two things, I think. We'll know when we put the spark plugs and the fires up. These are the correct spark plugs we have now. The NGK spark plugs, V-Power. Uh, I took one out. The top does not have the screw thing. It has the little clip-on part, which is correct. And it's all nice and new. Sorry about that glare, people. There we are, the NGK... Are. All right, we'll put her in, see if she starts. All right, the bad news is this spark plug is what we need. We do need one with the screw type top because these plug wires in there are very, very tiny. It will not fit the standard spark plug. It's got to be those little dudes. So I went to the auto parts store, O'Reilly's, they didn't have any. Which is odd, because this is where this one came from originally. So, probably going to have to order them online. And then, we'll know if it starts. And then, we can proceed with the rest of it. Because the other thing we got to do is... Do the uh, combustion leak gas test in there and make sure my head gasket's not blown. And we need access to that. And the engine has to be running. So, well, vehicle's disabled for now. I'll go ahead and order the parts, the spark plugs, if I can find them online. And then hopefully we'll be golden. I guess while I'm at it, I'll change the oil, change the transmission fluid, I guess, and the differential fluid. First, I'm going to make sure the damn thing starts. If it starts and it runs and it drives, then I'll do that other stuff. But first things first, we got to get this engine running. 
So probably going to be this weekend, maybe, when I can get those parts in, get them torqued down, and then start this thing up. Hopefully she starts. Oh, the fan clutch is also what we're going to do. Because I think it works, but I don't know if it's ever been changed. Probably not. Better safe than sorry, so... I'll just pull the fan shroud off this dude. Place the uh, fan clutch. And then I guess we'll be golden. So, alright, that's it for now. Sorry we didn't get her fired up, but... Ran out of complications. We need parts. Alright, peace.